Most of us, including the VP team, use Visual Product Line every day. In this video, we are going to share 10 under the radar tips that will help make your daily Visual Product Line experience the best it can be. Let's begin. In a class diagram, you may want to describe attributes with the node shape. As you can see, the node is connected with the class shape rather than any attribute. To connect it precisely with an attribute, do this. Click on the connector, and then click on the pin icon around the end. Now you can stick the connector end with any attribute. Here is an ERD. You can form an object model by using the synchronize function. Here is a shortcut for you. Press and hold on your right mouse button. Drag left. Release the mouse button. This triggers the synchronize function. To synchronize changes from class diagram, press and hold on your right mouse button first. This time, drag right. The reverse engineering feature can help you form a sequence diagram from your Java code. In order not to make the diagram over complex, our engine will only process the first level of a method call. If you want to expand the interaction, do this. Right-click on the related sequence message and then select the menu, Instant Reverse Java Source. The diagram will be updated with more messages added. There are a few ways to rename a diagram. The easiest way would be to double-click on the breadcrumb and enter the new name directly. You can apply this technique to rename a user story as well. When you are editing a large diagram, it can be difficult to view the different parts of the diagram effectively. Fortunately, the split diagram feature lets you split a diagram into multiple parts, allowing you to freeze a part of the diagram whilst editing the other part of it. This web page was produced by the project Perbishar. When you click on the shape in the diagram image, its details page will be opened. But sometimes, like this case, if the shape you click contains a subdiagram, you may want to open the subdiagram page instead. To achieve this, modify the drill down effect option in the project publisher options window. By choosing open subdiagrams and then publish, you can click on the shape to open its subdiagram page. Annotations can be added around the wireframe to describe the widgets in the device frame. To add annotations quickly, double-click on the background to create an annotation shape. Enter the annotation. Connect it with the wireframe widget. That's it. When you are writing a template to use in document production with Doc Composer, you may come across this question. I want to process certain type of model elements. But what should I fail for the model type attribute? You can find the answer with the help of the copy as XML feature. Right click on the model element involved and select copy. Copy as XML, traditional. Paste the copied content to a text editor. Search the element. You can see the value you look for by checking the model type attribute nearby. Copy the value and paste back to your XML template. You're done. Over time, your project will have created a lot of over model elements that do not appear on any diagrams. If they are not useful anymore, here is a way to remove them. Open the project browser. Open the model structure tab. Right-click on the project node and select viewless model elements. You can then delete the elements you want. Of course, use with care. If you are editing a few diagrams simultaneously, you may want to open the diagram you just edited. To do this, simply press the hotkey, Ctrl, and Tab. This opens the switch diagram pane with the previous diagram selected. Release the hotkey to open the diagram. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found some of these tips and tricks useful. We will keep sharing more cool tips in future. Goodbye.